everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video, uh, the second one, on a different topic, this time narrowing down the liver segment. So here you are scanning the liver and you find a lesion, be it benign or malignant or a suspicious area in the liver, and you have to determine which segment it is. When I first started uh, working uh, as a sonographer almost 20 years ago, we didn't use the segmental anatomy um, or we didn't include the segmental anatomy in the report. But um, a few uh, years or months after I started working, um, the, uh, the place uh, included that in the protocol. And so um, we started to, obviously we were trained and it took some time and it, it, it is difficult because it's a different way to look at the um, at the liver, you have to look for more landmarks. Before it was just, you know, left lobe, right lobe, anterior, posterior, or medial and lateral left lobe, uh, cotted lobe, and things like that. Or you can use the vascular landmarks to say it, it is close to the hepatic vein, the right hepatic vein, or whatever it is. Um, and then, obviously, the more you practice, uh, the easier it gets. And I was fortunate enough also to work at a place that... Um, uh, where it was possible to to see if the patient had any CT or MRIs, so we could always confirm uh, the location of the segment, and so that was a nice feedback uh, to know. And of course, you know, with radiologists uh, that are very experienced, they would also give us uh, the feedback in terms of whether they agree with our location or, or not. Um, and so, so initially, it can be quite overwhelming because you have to look for more landmarks, right? You have to pay more attention to the vascular landmarks to determine where uh, or to narrow it down to the segment of the liver that uh, where the lesion that you found is. And so obviously there are many ways on uh, finding out which liver segment you're dealing with once you find a particular lesion or be it benign or, or malignant um, or a suspicious area. Um, it's, it's, uh, there are different ways to actually narrow it down to the one segment or two where it is. Depending on the lesion, of course, uh, the size of the lesion, uh, it may expand to more than one segment, as you all know. Sometimes I've seen lesions that cover up to four segments, depending on the size and, of course, the location. Uh, I think the, the easiest method that has worked for me is to start with looking at the hepatic veins. So put the lesion aside and just look at the hepatic veins. Look at the three hepatic veins, because as you know, the hepatic veins are traveling in between segments. So they are borders of the segments. On the contrary, the portal vein branches, they're intrasegmental. And so they're not very useful in terms of uh, defining the borders, of course. So I would suggest to start with the a typical transverse image or transverse um, view of the hepatic veins as they go into the IVC as shown here. So once you have that view, spend some time, a few seconds, trying to familiarize yourself with the segmental anatomy. And so lateral to the uh, right hepatic vein, it would be segment seven. In between the right and the middle hepatic vein, it'll be segment eight. In between the middle and the left hepatic vein, segment four. And since we're superior, it'll be segment 4A. And lateral or to the left of the left hepatic vein, it would be segment two. So once you have that figured out, and I know that we're um, along the superior aspect of the liver um, and what if the lesion is more inferior that's okay so once you figure out the segments and the borders you can start sweeping down and try to extrapolate those hepatic veins as the borders of the segments because obviously as you angle down from the liver they will disappear right uh, but try to extrapolate if if you were to see them where would they be Right. Uh, and down. so as you come down, you will see, you will extrapolate how, uh, how much these lines will extend. And then at that point, 
you're going to be able to say, okay, so my lesion, you'll be able to narrow it down basically to two segments, right? So if the lesion is more lateral to the right, it'll be either six or seven. If it is, you know, between the middle and the, um, the right hepatic vein, it'll be either segment eight or segment five. If it is between the middle and the left hepatic vein, it'll be either segment four or segment four A or segment four B, right? And so on and so forth. If it is lateral, left lateral to the, uh, to the left hepatic vein, then it's gonna be either segment two or three. So all of a sudden, going from eight segments, you're going down to two by using the hepatic veins. And then once you figure that out, once you have the two um, narrowed down to two segments, you're going to then use the left and the right portal vein, portal vein bifurcation, you know, at the level where they, in, they bifurcate an image like this. Once you have that view, you're going to be sweeping from that view up and down, depending on where the lesion is, to determine whether the lesion or the area that you're that you're looking for or that you're uh, worried about is going to be superior to the bifurcation of the portal vein or inferior and that then will narrow it down to the one segment right because remember first you look at the hepatic veins then you uh, try to assign the lesion location to the hepatic vein, so where it would be, and therefore you narrow it down to two segments, and then you use the portal vein uh, bifurcation to narrow it down to one. Of course, as I said initially, if uh, depending on the location and the size of the lesion, um, it it may be that you have, you know, two segments or three or more, depending on the size and the location, as I said. And so. You, you, you notice that this method is quite dynamic. You're not really looking at a frozen image. You are actually using real time by sweeping up and down in transverse, right? Um, in sagittal, you can always uh, confirm, but it's a little harder because in transfer, you get, transfers, you get to see more of the anatomy of, um, of the liver in terms of the vascular landmarks. You can see all three hepatic veins, or four, right? Uh, or, um, and you can also see the uh, bifurcation of the portal vein into left and right, both at the same time. So it's a lot easier to do it in transverse as opposed to sagittal. And so you can always double check, keep going until you're convinced that uh, the location of your lesion is what you think it is. The, the other thing to consider as well is um, when you're, if you're scanning subcostal, be careful because we're sometimes depending on the, how much the patient can breathe in and how much the liver comes down from the rib cage, we may not be truly transverse, right? We may be kind of pointing up more than being like this. And so the superior and inferior to the uh, portal vein bifurcation may be more anterior and posterior. So be careful with that. What I like to do as well to, uh, to double check is I go intercostal. On the previous video, I talked a lot about intercostal scanning. And so we can also do that because you can actually go transverse on the, um, on the ribs. I know you're gonna see the shadows, but you should be able to see the right portal vein. And so you can use that or the left portal vein for that matter, and then use that as you sweep up and down towards the lesion that you found or the, the area that uh, you're worried about and see how that relates to the lesion. And so if you thought subcostally that the lesion was superior to the bifurcation, then the same thing should happen if you are intercostal. And if not, then maybe look again. But that's one way that I use also to, um, to confirm whether I'm dealing with something superior whether I'm dealing with the superior segments or the inferior segments. So again, it takes practice. It's not that you're gonna get it at once if you haven't tried it, um, but uh, it's important to, um, 
to start practicing. Um, I know in some places they definitely want you to put down what segment it is. Um, others will just say, tell me left or right, but I think more and more places are um, leaning towards that because obviously the uh, referring doctor, if it's a surgeon, if he or she is a surgeon, they will benefit from, uh, from us locating it precisely uh, where this particular area is in, in the liver. Well, I hope that this was useful and um, it's time to start practicing the method. Good luck. Thank you again for, for watching this video.